YouTube, Steve here, back with another video. Um, I posted uh, a video uh, about six months ago featuring some uh, things that I've collected uh, over the last couple of years. I guess it was back in January. Anyway, about six months ago, <coughs> give or take, and um, six months later, I've, I've got some, some new things that I'd like to show and tell. Uh, most of these, or a good portion of these anyway, were picked up during sales in the last few months. Some of them in the last few weeks. Uh, I just did a video, uh, which you can go and watch, on uh, my recent Severin film sale uh, purchase, uh, which I made that earlier this month. Anyway, this is this the things I'm going to show here now are from the last six months, but again, a lot of them have been uh, from this past month's several sales that have gone on, <clears throat> it being July in the middle of summer. and So let's check it out. Number one, uh, this I just bought on my own from Amazon because it was cheap and it seemed like a pretty good deal. I'd only seen a couple of these films. This collects seven of the eight films in the series. Unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, depending on how you look at it, Indicator from the UK just, <laughs> as soon as I bought this, um, posted that they were going to be releasing a huge Blu-ray box set of these films. And I might have bought that, but I'm not going to do it now because I have this. And certainly uh, I think these look good enough and I don't think that it, that it warrants a box set. I could be wrong, but it is the Whistler uh, film noir collection are these little these are little film noirs I guess you could call them uh, featuring the Whistler the power of the Whistler voice of the Whistler mysterious intruder secret of the Whistler the 13th hour and the return of the Whistler it's missing one film don't really know what that film's um, name is but the bulk of these films star Richard Dix. Check that out there. Uh, fairly standard discs. Two discs for seven films. Um, they're, they're all about an hour a piece, some a little bit more, some a little bit less, but about an hour. Um, looks pretty good. These are good transfers. <clears throat> Obviously, there's some compression going on, but if you're not too picky about, and you're not pixel peeping your screen, I think that you'll find that these, these uh, discs look pretty good. Their transfers look nice. Uh, obviously, the indicator Blu-ray box set would uh, look better. But, um, you know, maybe sometime. I doubt it, though. Okay, this one I purchased uh, during the spring sale for Kino Lorber. Um, I hadn't seen it in a lot of years. And to be honest with you, um, it isn't my favorite film. And having rewatched it now, I, I kind of... I'm not saying that I regret buying it, but... It's a film noir that I think a lot of people appreciate... I'm just not one of those people. Although it's got John Garfield, and everybody loves John Garfield. Force of Evil. Uh, slip cover here for the Blu-ray. Uh, there's the features. A couple commentary tracks, or one commentary track from uh, his, a film historian, Imogen Sarah Smith. It is what it is. It's not my favorite. It's, I just haven't seen, I just haven't, it just hasn't caught me yet. Again, I hadn't seen it in several years when I bought it. Having seen it now, I remember not particularly liking it that much. Um, and the feeling kind of continues, but maybe I'll watch it again in a year or so. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see. Next, from the Warner Archive collection, a few of those in this um, lot here. This is um, 
a collection of screwball classics animated or directed by Tex Avery. That is the Tex Avery Screwball Classics Collection Volume 3. Volume 1 I already own, and Volume 2 may or may not be coming later in this video. Again, these are in no real order here. Some interesting features. There's the disc. This is a fairly cheap Walmart uh, pickup. I, I don't go into Walmart that often. We, we do the, the curbside pickup thing. That seems to work out pretty well. But my wife had to go in, so I went in with her. And of course, I go to the electronic section because that's what I do. And I uh, found this on sale. Uh, it's got five movies. I bought them for only, well, two. It is the five disc collection, Stephen King, the original Pet Cemetery, the really crappy remake, The Stand, and that is the original 90s miniseries Stand, uh, Silver Bullet and The Dead Zone. I bought this for Silver Bullet and The Dead Zone. I hadn't seen them in a lot of years and I wanted to go back and rewatch them. And they're very enjoyable, very enjoyable. Here's the back. Sorry for the glare. Okay, uh, not really interesting discard, but I'll, it's not really any discard anyway, but I'll show it to you anyway. It's, uh, there's the Dead Zone, Silver Bullet, The Stand, all on one Blu-ray disc, and Pet Cemetery and Pet Cemetery. It's kind of fun rewatching the 1989 Pet Cemetery. That's a great movie. Uh, scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. The 2019 remake, a re-adaptation. It's not good, folks. If you're a fan of, of the book or the original film, you, you might just want to stay away from it. Another Amazon purchase. Uh, this was on sale on Amazon, uh, for a couple days anyway. Um, I, I've been told to stay away from this, that it's terrible, that it's the, the transfer, the quality the, is all, it's DNR'd, it's uh, compressed, all of that stuff. Yet I bought it anyway because it looks amazing to my eyes. And I am not a pixel peeper, and I don't necessarily uh, watch my collection with the eyes of trying to find a fault and to me these look great the best i've ever seen them um the second vhs tape that was out i ever owned was a was a couple of these theatrical shorts it is max fleischer superman the complete collection yes i've heard all of the bad reviews about this set and yet I am unfazed because it looks amazing to me to my eyes these look the best they've ever looked and I've seen like I said my the first VHS or the second VHS tape I ever owned my dad bought it for me were, were two of these shorts on VHS from like the, I want to say 1985 or 86. And um, looking at those and looking at these now, it's it's night and day. It really is uh, an amazing looking uh, disc. So again, I'm sure that there are reasons for why people have panned this release, but to my eyes, I can't, I can't find any fault with them. Next up from the Warner Archive Collection. Uh, this was on sale, and um, a pretty good deal, and I had to get them. It is the Great Gildersleeve movie collection. It's all, all five films. Only four Gildersleeve films, and one of them is called Seven Days Leave, but it's Gildersleeve adjacent, and hence worth including in the set. Go. There's the discs. 
a lot of fun, a lot of fun Gildersleeve is. I'm a huge fan of the, the, of the radio se uh, series. Harold Perry is one of the funniest uh, guys of that era, in my opinion. Uh, he had this laugh that just was... Once you heard it, you could never unhear it. It became part of his character. And actually, on the radio, uh, he was replaced by a guy named Willard Waterman. And he could do a pretty good Gildersleeve voice, but he couldn't do the laugh. And when you can't do the laugh, you can't do Gildersleeve. So. Okay, another from Warner Archive. Uh, this is a film that made me... <laughs> gave me a lump in my throat the first time I watched it. I'm not necessarily a fan of Vivian Lee. I, I like her okay. Uh, she was very good and Gone with the Wind. Um, she was very good in A Streetcar Named Desire. But I've just never been the biggest fan of hers until I saw this and then I became a fan. With Robert Taylor, it is Waterloo Bridge. It's a remake of a film, of a pre-code film, which is also very good. But this is the... Um, the one to watch, folks, right here. Uh, directed by Mervyn Leroy. Worth watching. Uh, this this movie should be more well known than it actually is. It should get more eyes. I, I wish that TCM would show it more, so people could could know how great a film this is. From Kino Lorber, uh, Blu-ray. They just released earlier this year. Um, this is probably the third time I've purchased this film, but, um, I believe this is the definitive version of it, and it's, um, looks amazing, sounds amazing, it's got an interesting slipcase, which I don't collect slipcases, by the way, folks, but I seem to have a lot of them, and I don't throw them out. I used to throw them out, but I don't anymore. Odds Against Tomorrow, Harry Belafonte, Robert Ryan, Shelley Winters, Gloria Graham, directed by the great Robert Wise. Uh, uh, audio commentary uh, with producer, author, historian, my bad, author, historian, Alan K. Rohde. A Q&A with the star and producer, Hella Perry Belafonte. Um, a theatrical trailer, and I believe it's got a... No... I think it's got a reversible cover. It does not. My bad. We've got a lot to go through, folks, so I'm uh, going to try to hurry this up. This I question even putting on here because um, it's such a... It was such a... It was a Walmart pickup, and uh, I only got it for one of the, of the two films in it. Um, kid stuff, probably, but I do love it. It is... Uh, the Batman Superman movie. Yes, the Batman Superman movie. This one right here. It also comes with Batman vs. Dracula, which isn't actually a bad little animated film, but uh, I really, really like the Batman Superman film uh, movie. It's a lot of fun. Saw it several years ago and wanted to own it, so now that I do. Another Batman-related uh, film, another film I've had to buy a few times now. This is the 4K UHD, and uh, I, I, I hesitated buying this, but it was on sale when Best Buy was just kind of phasing out their Blu-rays and DVDs and 4Ks. They had this on sale, and I bought it because it's uh, probably the best Batman representation i think that we've ever seen you probably know what it is already batman mask of the phantasm on 4k uhd another warner archive release tex avery screwball classics volume two i've already shown you volume three I believe this makes the thir this makes three different uh, Blu-ray releases for the Tex Avery uh, animated shorts. Uh, I believe that there might be one more coming. I think there's a few more that they haven't released yet. I'm not an expert on it, but um, these are so worth it. Um, 
he's not exactly what you would call politically correct humor in a lot of cases, but um, I was kind of raised watching those those animated shorts, and uh, to have them all collected, or mostly collected, uh, in beautiful prints, rest restored prints, is um, just a, a real thrill and honor to have. To kind of go back and, you know, you have a bad day at work. Sometimes just watching a few of those can really lift your spirits. A Warner Archive release. I wish they'd put this out on Blu-ray. They may. They probably won't anytime soon, though. It is Once a Thief with Alain Delon and Margaret and Jack Palance and Van Heflin. I caught this on TCM a few years ago, and I always was hoping to find it, and when I discovered that Warner Archive released it, I, I had to I had to pick it up. From this summer's Kino Lorber sale, I bought this because it's a remake, or a re-adaptation technically, but a remake of uh, Criss Cross, the Robert C. Odmack film with uh, Burt Lancaster and Yvonne DiCarlo. This is called The Underneath, directed by Steven Soderbergh, starring Peter Gallagher, and uh, it's not bad. I like it. I'm not sorry that I bought it. Another Kino Lorber pickup from this summer sale. This is a 4K of Robert De Niro and Ronan, John Frankenheimer movie. Which, if you've not seen it, you owe it to yourself. It's one of the best action films. Um, it's up there as far as one of the best action films ever made, I think, in my opinion. It's got a car chase that's much better than anything I've seen before. Much better than, say, Bullet. Which was a good, decent car chase, but... Anyway, the action in this movie, uh, the dialogue, the story, it's all just amazing stuff. This is a 4K and a Blu-ray. Another Kino Lorber pickups from the sale. Um, War Notes, Sam Peckinpah film, Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. A Kino Lorber pickup from the sale this summer. A uh, film that I've never seen before, but uh, has come highly recommended by several people that I respect in the film community. Um, it's an English noir. It always rains on Sunday. We'll see. I, I, I haven't had time to watch it yet, but it looks pretty good. It's got uh, Googie Winthers, Jack Warner, and John McCallum. Another Kino Lorber uh, sale purchase. This is one that uh, I've been wanting to see for a few years now. And uh, it's uh, from the makers of um, sort of neo-giallo films, uh, Aimer and the Strange the strange Color of Your Body's Tears. This is Let the Corpses Tan, uh, sort of a tribute to the uh, spaghetti western and the polizia tech, I can't pronounce that word. The police sort of crime films of Italy in the 1970s and 80s. Sort of a hodgepodge of tributes to those types of films. Yet another Kino Lorber pickup from the sale this summer. This is um, a Mario Bava film that I uh, have not owned. It is The Whip and the Body. With Christopher Lee and Dali Lobby. It's a great film. One of his better, more underrated films, I would say. Here you go with a 4K UHD uh, from the Criterion Barnes & Noble 50% off sale this past month. I um, saw this when I was in high school, when it was released on to uh, pay-per-view, and I loved it. Didn't realize that the directors would become big-time Hollywood movers and shakers. It is Bound, the first film from the Wachowski family. <laughs> sort of a lesbian gangster film noir. And yes, it's actually really good. Uh, just a brief look at the interior there. It's a Blu-ray and a 4K UHD. 
Another sale pickup from the Criterion sale this past month, Blu-ray Blu and, and 4K UHD. I Am Cuba, one of the most visually stunning films I think I've ever seen. I don't necessarily agree with the politics necessarily, but uh, if you can put that behind you, you've got a great looking film. There's the 4K and the Blu-ray. Here you go with another Criterion pickup. This was just released earlier this month. It is a new 4K restoration, the classic Alain Delon, Jean-Pierre Melville film, Les Samurai. There's the 4K and there's the Blu-ray. A couple of Warner Archive pickups. This was just released, I believe, a couple of months ago. Uh, it's a film that I, I have on DVD in one of the Warner Archive film noir sets that sadly um, I lost to Disc Rot. So I'm glad to finally have this on Blu-ray. It's one of the better films of that set. It is Act of Violence, Van Heflin and Robert Ryan, directed by Fred Zinnemann. Also has Janet Lee and Mary Astor. Can't forget about her. There you go. Another Warner Archive release. This was released um, in a box set originally on DVD uh, several years ago. I believe it was called Legends of Horror. And um, of the four movies in that set, two of them I really loved. The first one was Mad Love with uh, Peter Lorre, which I already have on uh, Warner Archive Blu ray now. And the second one, uh, kind of a controversial film, but entertaining as hell, it is The Mask of Fu Manchu with Boris Karloff and a very young uh, Myrna Loy. Myrna Loy. Glad to finally have this on Blu ray. Looks amazing. Uh, the DVD itself was not, it was okay, it was passable. But this Blu-ray blows it out of the water, for sure. This next one is another Criterion Blu-ray pickup uh, from this summer sale. Uh, I had this on DVD, but I lost it. I think I lent it to somebody and they never gave it back to me. It is uh, Bringing Up Baby, Howard Hawks film. Katherine Hepburn, whom I'm not the biggest fan of, but she's really good in this. And of course, Cary Grant. Sorry for the glare. Classic screwball comedy. Well worth your time if you haven't seen it. Another Criterion pickup from this uh, month's sale. Film I haven't seen in quite a few years. Uh, I'm surprised I never owned it. Uh, it's well worth owning. It's Jules Dassin's Rafifi. Once he was blacklisted, um, he went to... Uh, overseas and made quite a few good great films this being a very good heist film oops uh if you've never seen it do yourself a favor check it out it's kind of a bare bones disc but um the transfer is amazing another criterion pickup from the summer uh this one has been out for a few years I have it on DVD, but um, the DVD is fairly old, and uh, this transfer looked pretty good. It's a 4K digital restoration. It is Ghost Dog, Way of the Samurai. Jim Jarmusch film. Whom I'm not the biggest fan of, but I love this film, with a soundtrack from the RZA. Whom he calls the, uh, the Thelonious Monk of Hip Hop. I thought that was a great... Great, uh, great way of putting it. This next one I picked up from my local FYE, and this is uh, one of Mario Baba's. This is Mario Baba's, I believe, last film. It wasn't even completed by him. It was completed by his son, Lamberto Baba. Uh, Daria Nicolodi, 
film. It is Shock. Which is shocking, to say the least. Loaded with some great extras. And this has reversible cover art. It's a very creepy film. I highly suggest watching it in the dark. Okay, this next one I picked up during the Kino Lorber Summer Sale. Uh, this is a set of three films that are considered film noir. Um, probably, I would say so. Uh, but they all have one connected thing in common. They all star Edward G. Robinson. So this was a very, you know, uh, essential purchase for me. The dark side of cinema. This features Vice Squad with Paula Goddard. Good, Paul, yeah, ha, Paula, you, you know who I mean. Paulette Goddard. Goddard. Black Tuesday, a film that I've always wanted to see. I've been told it was it was a lost classic of his, and I wouldn't call it a classic, but it is fairly entertaining. And Nightmare. I'll show you the discs. Or I'll show you the cover art, even though you've already seen it. I'll show it to you again. Vice Squad. I believe it's got a commentary from... Gary Garani. These contain a lot of commentaries, and I would love to listen to all of them, but I don't have time. Nobody has time. Black Tuesday. And finally, Nightmare with Kevin McCarthy of Body Snatchers fame. We're still going, folks. I've got one more stack, and this will, that will be it. <laughs> uh, this one here, uh, Criterion Pickup from the Summer Sale. This is a 4, 4K and Blu-ray combo. I have yet to watch this, but I cannot wait to see it. It, it features one of my favorite, favorites in all of music. Uh, David Bowie and Moon Age Daydream. It's sort of a sort of kaleidoscopic documentary. Not like a linear documentary where it's like, well, he was born in England and blah, 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 blah. This is sort of a, a, a mood piece documentary featuring a lot of interviews and footage of him from his different eras. Uh, there's the front and the back of the inside. There it contains a poster slash booklets and there's the 4k and the blu-ray another criterion pickup uh this one i've been looking to get for quite a few years and uh my local barnes and noble never had it so i just ordered it and um uh, it's a kind of a shocking pre-code film starring the lovely uh miriam hopkins and uh, based on a novel by William Faulkner, I believe. This is the story of Temple Drake. I believe this is the last criterion of my pickups. This is one that... Um, it was kind of a blind buy. I've seen the movie before, but it's not been since I was in college in film class that I've seen it. Uh, Criterion just released it on 4K Blu-ray. And uh, it's a Sam Peckinpah film, and it's one that, uh, again, I haven't seen in several years, but I remember liking it. And again, this was a kind of a blind buy for me, but uh, it's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. got several versions of the movie. It's got a uh, 50th anniversary release version, the original theatrical version, and a final preview cut all on four discs. It's got uh, two 4Ks and two Blu-rays. 
There's a booklet. Here's the inside of the digipack. And there are the discs. Next up, I have uh, the only Aero Summer Sale pickup I made. Um, I've been getting into a lot of Italian um, gothic, sort of gothic Italian films, which you'll you'll see later on. Uh, and this was a interesting set that came out a couple years ago. It's called Gothic Fantistico, Fantistico, for Italian Tales of Terror. Nice hard case there. Uh, it contains uh, Lady Morgan's Vengeance, the Blancheville Monster, the Third Eye, and the Witch. And I'll show you the individual individual uh, discs. I did turn over and you and. I did turn over and use their uh, reversible art for these, so these are all Italian. But, uh... And the disc. This one was just called Horror in Italy. Edgar Allan Poe. Not sure how close it follows the ground bow. This is the Blancheville monster, by the way. Franco Nero there, I believe. Sorry for the glare. Uh, it, I did save the, uh, sort of back, what are they called, J card, whatever they freaking call these things. I had to fold it, but, uh, there that is. Not that it makes any difference. Comes also with a, uh, interesting book of essays about each film. And a poster. I think all in all, I picked this set up for $30. It was a very good deal. Switching gears a little bit. Cut this off of uh, Amazon. It's a fairly new release, so I didn't really get any deals on it, but I, I wanted it. Another collect into my collection. Uh, the New Adventures of Batman. The complete collection. This is starring Adam West. And Burt Ward. It's a filmation um, uh, animated show. It's not going to blow your mind or anything. And it does feature Batmite, which is kind of kryptonite to us Bat fans. But it's a pretty good show, all in all. It's a lot of fun. If you're a Bat nerd like I am, it's essential. From Kino Lorber, again, I've purchased this film few times. It's available in the public domain, but this is sort of a definitive edition. He Walked by Night. It's Richard Bayhart, Scott Brady. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, yeah, what's his name? Um, Tierney. Lawrence Tierney's brother. Yeah. Sort of the inspiration for the show Dragnet. It features, uh, what's his name in it? Um, my mind is leaving me today. Jack Webb. Jack Webb. And it does have reversible cover art. There you go. From Kino Lorber. Uh, again, uh, I have this on Blu-ray, but this is the definitive edition, if there ever was one. 4K UHD Scarlet Street. Edward G. Robinson film 
Joan Bennett and Dan Derrier, directed, of course, by Fritz Lang. It's a 4K and a Blu-ray combo pack. There's the reversible art on that. I kind of like that. Uh, this I picked up at Big Lots for $5. Uh, it's a great little animated film that came out a few years ago uh, based on a um, graphic novel by Mike Mignola. Or it was drawn by Mike Mignola anyway. It is uh, Gotham by Gaslight. Not sure if you can see that or not. And it's a Blu-ray slash, which I didn't know this, it's a Blu-ray slash DVD combo. This is, okay, this, this last bit is where we go into really deep sort of Italian gothic horror. Um, I'm a huge fanatic of, of Barbara Steele, and this one I never had seen before. Sovereign release, it is uh, Angel for Satan. An angel for Satan. There's the slip case. Here is the reversible art. I guess it's reversible art. I no, it's not. It's just the alternate art. And there's the disc. Here you go. It's a 4K UHD Barbara Steele film, which I have seen and I love. Uh, I opted not to get the uh, super deluxe slipcase version because it was like $10 more <laughs> when you really just want to see the discs. And um, this is the only ver this is the only film from Vinegar Syndrome that I own. It is the horrible Dr. Hitchcock. There she is, folks. There's the special features. If you can read them, I apologize for the glare. Yeah, this came with like a double slipcase and a book, which I, I thought about getting the book, but in the end, I just want to see the films and own the films, Blu-ray and 4K. Here you go, another Severin release. Uh, this is uh, Danza Macabra, Volume 2, the Italian Gothic Collection. Very cool box set. And I will open it for you to reveal the films included. I got this mostly for Castle of Blood, the 4K UHD Castle of Blood. Severin um, went to great lengths to restore this and provide lots of extras. This is, uh, I believe, three discs. Yeah, you get the... Uh, the 4K UHD and a couple of Blu-rays featuring a couple of different cuts of the film and a bunch of special features. Although if you got the Nightmare Castle Blu-ray from Severin, which came out several years ago, they included Castle of Blood as an extra. And it wasn't it was it wasn't restored very well. It, it looked pretty good, but it, it had a lot of damage to the print. But it came with a 20-some minute featurette which is not repeated on this so if you still have that you might want to hold on to it also it includes Jekyll which is an Italian television miniseries which I don't know a whole lot about but I do look forward to checking it out it's a two disc set They have changed their face. And finally, you gotta love the title of this one, The Devil's Lover. I believe this one contains a CD soundtrack. 
Indeed it does. Comes with uh, this. It has the titles, the track titles. The disc, the Blu-ray, and the CD soundtrack. Funny because I the only CD player I own is, I guess, my 4K and Blu-ray players and things like that. They, they'll play CDs. But um, my old iMac still still will uh, basically rip CDs for me. Put them in the cloud so I can listen to them on Apple Music. So otherwise, these discs are pretty. Honestly, they don't mean a whole lot. Uh, it's nice to have them, but which is kind of weird because I, you know I, I I grew up loving CDs and having a great CD collection, but. As far as physical media goes, uh, I elect not to collect them anymore. All right, folks, this is the last stop, I promise. Um, we just talked about volume two of Danza Macabra. This is volume one from Severed Films box set. This hard box. It contains The Monster of the Opera, The Seventh Grave, Scream of the Demon Lover, and the one I bought it for, Lady Frankenstein. I'll show you what's in there. Monster of the Opera. Art. The Seventh Grave, which, if you look at the cover art, it makes you think that this is a vampire film, but it's not. There's the disc art. Right there. Scream of the Demon Lover. The Discard. Finally, we have the film that I really purchased this for. And honestly, if this was available separately, I would have just bought this. But uh, I did want to own this in the best possible way. Lady Frankenstein. Which is a great film I used to own on a dollar DVD from like Alpha Films or whatever. It's got Joseph Cotton in it. He plays Frankenstein. And of course this is about his Dolta. And so that is my... Um, show and tell. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, obviously I'm not posting very often. I just post when I, I have something I think of interest to show you. And hopefully what I've shown you has been interesting. Also, I have that Severin, um, Dario Argento bundle show and tell, uh, which you can watch, which I, uh, thought I would make a separate video for. I'm not really sure why, but I did. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, let me know if you think I missed something or if something is good or bad or maybe I shouldn't have bought that. Mm. Let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.